My disclosure is that I uh, have spoken in the past for tactile medical. The uh, study team uh, in involved myself, who did the diagnosis and staging of lipedema, and a team of um, researchers uh, headed by Dr. Samuel Klein at uh, Washington University School of Medicine. So the scope of the study is a comprehensive whole body, organ system, cellular, metabolic, and immune system characterization of people with lipedema. And compare this to these lipedema population with the classical obesity population. Uh, the, the goal to determine the effect of uh, Ther and therapeutic of potential of diet-induced uh, weight loss in this patient population. So we, women with lipedema uh, underwent baseline testing of body composition, insulin sensitivity, adipose tissue biology, and immune function, and also vascular reactivity. And then they were followed for four to six months uh, after achieving an 8 to 10 percent uh, weight loss. And then these uh, baseline testing were repeated. So the, the body composition was uh, performed with uh, uh, dual energy x-ray absorption, or DEXA, and MRI, and a uh, euglycemic um, insulin, uh, uh, euglycemic clamp, and uh, also we, uh, we studied insulin levels, uh, fasting lipid levels, uh, glucose levels, et cetera. Uh, adipose tissue biology uh, was um, performed uh, studying immune function, heavy water turnover of collagen and fat, tissue oxygenation, and gene expression. So each of the individual participants uh, met with a uh, um, individually with the dietitian and calculated their caloric needs and a, a reduced, a 25% caloric reduction was, was calculated and um, all the meals and snacks were provided by the Washington University Metabolic Kitchen. Um, the dietitian uh, accommodated um, the me meal plans uh, according to gluten, dairy, nut, or egg uh, sensitivities. Uh, the participants uh, met weekly with the dietitian and picked up their food, and then um, um, and, and and then came back the next week for weigh in and um, and um, uh, further testing. The underlying um, characteristics of the lipedema subjects um, were measured in, and and they were we were matched uh, BMI and age with the classical obese. Uh, population, and uh, you can see that the uh, the baseline uh, glucose and uh, lipid profiles were uh, the, were lower in uh, the uh, lipedema subjects. The um, this is a plot of the uh, weight loss um, uh, in the subjects. And then um, we, <clears throat> going over here, this is the results. And I have to caution, these are preliminary. We are still enrolling in this study. Um, the data is, is uh, we're still collecting data. In fact, we're still interested in uh, participants. We're going to probably be enrolling for another year. Um, and this is, um, so these are not the final uh, results. Um, so. We, we can see here in this study that um, the uh, that lipedema patients did um, lose uh, fat with uh, uh, weight loss um, and that um, on the the bar the second bar on the left you can see that there's uh, a um, that the uh, total they started with a the lipedema patient started with a higher percentage of body fat, and uh, so far this has not been significantly, that percentage has not been significantly changed. Um, the 
the contribution in fat, so down in the bottom on the left is the contribution of uh, change in fat mass to total fat mass appears to be less, but again, not statistically significant. Um, and then now over on the right here in the middle, um, the percentage of leg fat um, is, is, so is not significantly affected by um, weight loss. <clears throat> but as, as you can see, they, 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 lo they, they lost a similar percent of uh, leg fat with weight loss. Okay, this, this uh, so look, by MRI, um, they did have a reduction in thigh volume and thigh fat, um, and that's what uh, this shows. Uh, <clears throat> but despite having a greater percentage of leg fat on, um, on enrollment, the contribution of leg fat was not greater. Um, really, this, I mean, this confirms in a very sophisticated um, way what we have known um, about fat percentages and, and fat mass loss uh, to, um, with weight loss. Um, <clears throat> We also studied their uh, glucose tolerance and, um, and compared them to uh, matched uh, uh, classically obese uh, controls. And they had a lower, um, the lipedema subjects had uh, lower uh, fasting and two hour glucose um, and, uh, and, uh, and it all also both improved with uh, weight loss. Uh, this is uh, some results of the insulin sensitivity and, um, and uh, using the euglycemic uh, clamp. And uh, so in the middle, um, the, uh, <clears throat> the lipedema subjects, at the bottom of the middle, you see the lipedema subjects uh, before and after weight loss. And, uh, the, um, and this is compared on the, on the far left. There's the obese cross-section. Um, obese and normal, uh, no, so these are no, the first in the far lower left is the metabolically normal, um, normal weight individuals. And then in the center are metabolically abnormal, um, obese, um, metabolically normal obese, and at the far, uh, on the right, the bottom of that graph, uh, bottom right of that graph is the metabolically abnormal obese. So the lipedema group um, are close to the normal weight, uh, normal, uh, normal metabolic um, uh, controls, and, uh, and their uh, <clears throat> insulin sensitivity does improve with uh, uh, weight loss. Um, and, and then on the bottom, uh, bottom right is you can, this is compared to the obese um, controls. Um, so this we this is their uh, uh, the results of the intrahepatic uh, uh, triglycerides, um, and you can see that uh, the um, uh, the pre pre weight loss the lipedema patients have lower um, intrahepatic uh, triglycerides, and there's a little change uh, with weight loss. Uh, these are preliminary conclusions. Um, and um, so compared to age and BMI matched individuals, lipedema patients have a higher percentage of body fat and a higher percentage of leg fat um, and are more insulin sensitive. This is basically a, a, to this audience kind of a no da. Um, but um, with 10% weight loss, the lipedema patients showed uh, less change in percent body fat and, uh, a, and continued to have a greater percentage of, uh, of leg fat, and uh, that's compared to beast controls. And lipedema patients are insulin sensitive and, and close to normal weight, met, normal weight, metabolically normal individuals um, and show less metabolic changes. Thank you very much.